Judy Hart, and I'm to talk about Amish healthcare. The thing is, we're like 19th century hippies without the free love. Although, churn style love is a release as well. That is what I've heard anyway. We prefer herbs. Night nip and thistle melt can really quicken your quilting hand. For the bees, of course, quilting bees. Like you, we pay particularly close attention to virility by having our menfolk eat seeds from the pumpkin patch. Go pumpkins, go pumpkins. <laughs> Goody loves her pumpkins. I mean, I love all gourds, squash, melons, Cucumbers. Although we do grow bigger ones where I'm from. I mean, what? A minute? I'm going to need more than a minute with these tiny things. I mean, these didn't come from my patch. Who got these? I don't know. Where, what do you think I'm doing with these? Hello everyone, I'm your host Spencer Tomlin, and welcome to You've Got To Be Kidding Me America. Yeah, what about me? What do you mean, what about me? Not you, me. That's what I said. Who am I? You would know who you are better than I would. <laughs> you to introduce me. Oh, who are you? Not you too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ladies and gentlemen, your co-host. Carrie Bradstreet. We have a great show for you tonight. Lots of really good fun skits. Yeah, and we got a little sarcastic Brit over here, too. Yeah, and what you'd Welcome call a aboard. shining wit. Shining wit. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> a lot has been said about marijuana, both good and bad, but we're here today to give you the facts about what medical marijuana can do for our patients with chronic pain. Mary has suffered from migraine headaches for years. Then one of our doctors prescribed her medical marijuana. Within minutes of taking her medicine, Mary's headache was gone, and now she's back to enjoying her normal life. Jason has glaucoma. The pressure on his eyes is unbearable. But now, with medical marijuana, even the sunlight is no longer an issue. Bob has chronic arthritis. And this was his world for the last five years. Since prescribed medical marijuana, he is now able to move around freely. Who uses this treatment? We do, the people who understand. We're the lawyers and judges, the businessmen and the retirees, the nurses and the students. And remember, medical marijuana is 100% legal. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. The world is flat. Man will never be able to fly. Is this the world we live in? I think not. So if you suffer from chronic pain, please give us a call at Grand Rapids Alternative Care. That's Grand Rapids Alternative Care, located at 1001 Medical Park Drive Suite 112 in Grand Rapids, 616-214-8944. Grand Rapids Alternative Care, Grand Rapids' only full-time clinic. 
Whenever you or someone you know is in need of reliable and professional legal counsel and services you can depend on, call Demetrio Law Offices for that one-on-one -on -one personal touch. Jim Demetrio has been practicing law for over 21 years. Please call Jim at 616-454-7969. That's 616-454-7969. Buongiorno, I'm Mama Maria Babina, and welcome to my new show, A Jew on a Dish. So, what are we gonna do is we're gonna have a different cast of cooks on every single day, and we're gonna make the breakfast, lunch, and supper. Like today, we have a special guest of cook, is the Bam Bam, Emma Legacy. And then we have everybody's favorite jailbird, the Martha Stewart. And my aunt, my favorite aunt, is the Aunt your Mama Mama. She's just so darling. And a fun-loving guy in the kitchen is the galloping Agora May. So, what we's gonna do is we's gonna cook up a meal or a breakfast, lunch, and supper for just a five minutes for under five a dollar. I think what Maria's trying to tell you is that we're going to show you how to make an easy breakfast, lunch, and supper for one day for under five dollars each. Huh, I think I got that, you contouring bitch. This is a mama show, okay? <laughs> so, now, let's get this started with the Aunt your Mama Mama. Oh dear. Well, first we're gonna put the oil and spread on the pan. Gonna heat it up for some buckwheat pancakes. I think what Jemima means is pancakes. Bam! I like pancakes better. <laughs> now we're going to cook the bacon. You want it to be nice and crisp, like so. Or you could serve ham or sausages. Ooh, Mama loves the sausage. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Uh, it is the bowl. Take three eggs and three fourths cups of buttermilk and some of your mama's original pancake mix. Bam! <laughs> oh dear. Now where was I? Oh yes, you take a large bowl. Uh, Etienne, you've already said that. Oh dear. Now where was I? You take a large bowl, three eggs. I think what Aunt Jemima's trying to say is you take the mixed batter, you pour it on the 350 degree griddle, and cook on each side for about a minute. And then you serve with Aunt Jemima syrup, either hot or cold, and breakfast is done. This is the Mama Show, bitch! Bam, 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 bam! What's the matter, you? Get your ass over there and you make the soup. No. Go. You have five minutes, Emerald. Go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kick it up a bit. All right, for lunch, I'm going to go ahead and make you guys some clam chowder. The butter first. Bam! Then we have the vegetables. Potatoes. Bam! Onion. Bam! Celery. Bam! Little baby tomatoes. Bam! Little baby carrots. Bam! Bacon! Bam! Hey! Get your hands off my bacon! My meat! And the clam! Bam! Bam! All right, and then we, when we have it all finished, it's going to look like this. Now I'm going to make a salad with fruit. First... What well, must it mean is she's going to make a fruit salad. First, you take your melons and squeeze to make bam, sure... Bam! Bam! <laughs> ...to make sure they're fresh. Now, I have all the fresh ingredients I need for the salad. You take your lettuces and put them in a big bowl like this. And then you add your tomatoes and your onions. Bam! Okay. Bam! <laughs> Bam! Stop it! Then you toss it 
to make sure all the ingredients are mixed throughout the entire salad. Bam! <laughs> now that we've gone to make the pizza for the supper, Mama loves her mouth-watering pepperoni, eh? Oh, and I also like my Italian sausage. But we get to meet later, okay? So now we're going to take our pizza dough and we're going to do this a little bit. And then we're going to start tossing it up in the air like a so. Like a so. Like a so. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing that at home now, okay? When you're done with your pizza, it's gonna look like a this when it comes out of the oven. So put whatever the hell you want on the damn thing, okay? All right, well, I guess I'm up. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make a creme brulee for dessert. As you can see, I've already made the cake. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to, to get the cake out of the pan with it soaking in warm water. But first, let's get our cherries aflame and mmm. There we go, all right. Get those going nice and good. All right, so while those are flaming, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get the cake out of the pan, just like so. Oh, come on, for the love of queen. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my cherries are burning. Jeez. That's what she said. <laughs> this whole meal is crap. I should have done it myself. Ah, uh, somebody get her a drink. Okay, well, we just want to thank everybody for tuning in to my newer show today, A G1 A Desk. And I'd like to take some of my guests. So we to see you next time, okay? Ciao. Bam! Lady goes into the doctor's office for a physical examination. She says to the doctor, Doc! Give me a kiss. While he's examining her, he said, I will not. I have ethics that I follow. Oh, doctor, give me a great big kiss. I can't. We have rules of professionalism. Oh, doctor, please, please lay one on me. No, ma'am, I will not give you a kiss because we have ethics and we have rules. And by the way, I probably shouldn't even be <laughs> you right now. <laughs> Cindy? Bob? Lisa? Bob? Lee? Traffic? Accident? Construction? Wonderful. Cindy? Yeah. Reports? Almost. Done. Thanks. you to write on increasing sales by the end of the fourth quarter? Yes. Is this it? Maybe. Really? All that's on this paper is the word initiative. Exactly. <laughs> In my office, now. Busted. Fired. <laughs> Go. So, you want to get some lunch? Same place as last time. Sounds good. Nice and quiet. I'm sick of all the yakking around here. But I'm gonna. I hear you, sister. Mm. Mind about 11:30? Sounds good. I can't wait. Okay. New Faces Global, where our models are seen all over the world. Over 250 models to choose from. 
If you have the job, we have the model. Please visit our website, newfacesglobal.com, to see all of our model profiles. You don't just need eyewear, you need eye protection. Global Vision. It's not just eyewear, it's eye protection. No matter what kind of bike, trike, boat, or jet ski you drive, I wouldn't trust my eyes to anything other than Global Vision. Global Vision. Silent and safety. The first thing they say a man looks for in a woman is intelligence. I doubt it. I never met a man that stuck his hand up my skirt looking for a library. <laughs> It's Sunday afternoon again, and I'm here sitting on the couch, pretending to care about it. Yeah, go Kellen! Go! Woo! Oh yeah! Hey. Woo! <laughs> hey, I love the Lions. I hope they win, unless they're playing Tom Brady. I love Tom Brady. What'd you say? What's wrong with you? How about them Lions, baby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, it's important to my marriage that I care about football, or at least I pretend that I do, and that's why I invented the fantastic workout video for women. The fantastic workout video for women lets wives of overly obsessed football morons enjoy the game with them, but not lose four hours of their life on the couch. Let me show you how it's done. All right, ladies! Woo -hoo! Yeah! 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 Okay, welcome to the fantastic workout video for women. Come on, run! Our first play is a running play, so let's run in place. Go, 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 Oh, our team just got a touchdown! Yes! Oh, touchdown! Woo! Now jump in the air as high as you can. Touchdown! Woo! Woo! Get up! Woo! Oh. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Our guys' team just got a sack. So, yeah. we're gonna break through the wall, kick, and throw! Yeah! All right, keep on shaking your hands, throw! What are you doing, honey? Our team just got a sack, so we're yeah. breaking through the wall. Yeah. Come on, ladies! Come on. Yeah. Ah. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Well, they're keepers, man. Every last one of them. <laughs> I'd almost rather have sex with my wife than watch football any longer. <laughs> Order your fantastic workout video for women today. That's right, call 1-800-WORKOUT. That's 1-800-W-O-R-K-O-U-T. Call now. Order your fantastic workout video for women now. That's right, order today. We're breaking through the wall. Whoa. Guy goes into a horror house with $200. He says, give me the worst piece of ass you have. Guy said, why would you pay $200 for the worst piece of ass? He said, I'm homesick. <laughs> so, Mrs. Scarlett, before this so-called rape, uh, did the defendant say anything or do anything uh, at that time? Yes. He did. But well, what did he do? 
I don't want to say. You don't want to say. Well, you're going to have to say. I mean, did he? What did he do something or did he say something? He said something. Okay, Miss Garth, could you tell the court what the defendant said? I don't want to. Your Honor, I would like to right now ask for an immediate dismissal on this case on the grounds mm -hmm. that the only witness that we have here. I object to that. I object to that. What do you object to? Uh, you're badgering her. May I approach? Yes, yes you I just asked her to say something and she wouldn't tell us what she said. Well, obviously she's embarrassed to have to say what this person did to her in front of her friends and family in the court. He's a defendant. Okay. Um, I think it would be helpful for the jury if she actually just wrote down what the defendant I agree with said that. to her. Okay. Would that, would that work for you? That'll, I'll, that'll work. All right. Just go ahead and write down. A lot has been said about marijuana, both good and bad, but we're here today to give you the facts about what medical marijuana can do for our patients with chronic pain. Mary has suffered from migraine headaches for years. Then one of our doctors prescribed her medical marijuana. Within minutes of taking her medicine, Mary's headache was gone, and now she's back to enjoying her normal life. Jason has glaucoma. The pressure on his eyes is unbearable, but now with medical marijuana, even the sunlight is no longer an issue. Bob has chronic arthritis and this was his world for the last five years. Since prescribed medical marijuana he is now able to move around freely. Who uses this treatment? We do. The people who understand. We're the lawyers and judges, the businessmen and the retirees, the nurses and the students. And remember medical marijuana is 100% legal. Isn't that right? Yes, it is. The world is flat. Man will never be able to fly. Is this the world we live in? I think not. So if you suffer from chronic pain, please give us a call at Grand Rapids Alternative Care. That's Grand Rapids Alternative Care, located at 1001 Medical Park Drive Suite 112 in Grand Rapids, 616-214-8944. Grand Rapids Alternative Care, Grand Rapids' only full-time clinic. Faces Global, where our models are seen all over the world. Over 250 models to choose from. If you have the job, we have the model. Please visit our website, newfacesglobal.com, to see all of our model profiles. Whenever you or someone you know is in need of reliable and professional legal counsel and services you can depend on, call Demetrio Law Offices for that one-on-one -on -one personal touch. Jim Demetrio has been practicing law for over 21 years. Please call Jim at 616-454-7969. That's 616 
454-7969. Doctor says to the husband, your wife either has AIDS or Alzheimer's. Well, how can I tell? Take her for a drive about five blocks and let her off. If she makes it back, <laughs> Hey, Wes. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's all right. Got the usual for you? Something's going for you. I mean, uh, hey, you ever get Mabel back? No. And I really miss those dark mahogany curves and the way they fit against my body. And when I would stroke and caress her just right, oh, the way she would moan and wail. Maybe your wife? No, favorite guitar. <laughs> I was it one day to get her out and she was gone. My wife took her. Mean, just mean. Sorry, ma'am. What about Gracie? You ever end up getting Gracie back? No, I miss the way I lightly lay my fingers against her. And when I would get that stroke just right, oh, man. So, Gracie then would be your wife? Nope. Love golf. Favorite driver. Just <laughs> right, that ball would go forever. Yeah. What about Susie? She ever end up coming off? No. Nope. That bitch went in heat, took the scent, went running. Once they start running, you can't keep them home. Mm. Your favorite dog? Nope. That bitch. Is my wife. <laughs> tonight I'm gonna make my mama so proud of me. Tonight, yeah, baby. Tonight, yeah, baby. I'm gonna make my mama proud of me. Tonight, 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 tonight. I'm gonna take this diaper off. Just wait and see. Tonight, yeah, baby. Tonight, yeah, baby. I'm gonna take this diaper off tonight, 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 tonight! My mama's gonna be so proud of me because she can see that I can pee just like a big boy can pee. I'm on the edge of going pee pee in my brand new diaper chair. Then I'm gonna be a big boy and my mama will play with my hair. Cause I'm on the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge! The edge! The edge! The edge! I'm on the edge of being a big boy and my mommy will be so proud of me. I'm on the edge! Smart people make smart decisions. Smart people advertise with five and dime.